Hello world, I have got today the Volkswagen Golf R, which is quite easily the ultimate pocket rocket, hot hatch, fun hatchback, <laughs> and whatever, you, whatever else you want to call it. Um, I've had this for the last couple of days and uh, I'm currently in Bahrain. It's uh, early November and the weather now is beautiful. Um, and I've been driving this around the island for the last couple of days and I have been having a lot of fun. Um, this really ticks the boxes of practicality, fun and performance. Um, it's, it's compact. It's, uh, it's obviously had a big design change compared to the previous generation. Oh, and just a few months ago, I was also dri driving the, uh, the new Golf GTI. So the Golf R is obviously a, a step up compared to the Golf uh, GTI, giving it a bit more performance. It's, it's pretty much the same engine. Under the hood of this car, we've got a, a two liter inline four uh, turbocharged engine and the turbocharger, the turbocharger adds an extra bit of horsepower compared to the GTI um, but you can absolutely feel a difference I mean in terms of performance uh, the, the, the torque and the acceleration big difference in comparison to the uh, to the GTI so it's a real step up um, but no uh, compromise when it comes to comfort and driving um, oh it's worth mentioning as well this thing this sucker will do zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.6 seconds um, which is pretty rapid for the uh, for the engine that it's got so let's have a little walk around the car and show you uh, a bit on the exterior design so starting at the front um, a very very slick design i love the design of the lights we've got a, an over exaggerated uh, sort of grill here at the front but also practical at the same time if we get up close, we've got the iconic R logo here, and you've got this blue contrasting color light feature that runs all the way along, which is iconic to the Golf R. Um, the lights run round to the side here, so yeah, very slick. It's, 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 it really gets attention. I mean, the Golf, the design of the Golf hasn't, I mean, it has changed, but if you look at it over the years compared to previous generations, you can always notice that it's a Golf, whatever generation it is and however many years going back. They have been producing this car for over 50 years. In fact, this year might mark the 50 years. Um, similar to the Porsche or a Jeep Wrangler, they're, they're, they're so identical. Coming round to the side, we've got 19 inch alloys, really sexy. Um, I love the design with the spokes of the wheels and uh, we've got the iconic calipers as well which are have the Golf R logo in there in a blue um, which really stands out. The colour of this car is, is black, what Volkswagen call deep black. I was very happy when I went and picked up this car from Volkswagen Bahrain and they said they had it in deep black. Um, I do like a Golf in black. In fact, it's probably my favourite colour. We've got the R design. They're quite proud of this R. You notice it all around the car in different areas here at the side, on the calipers, also inside the interior. Um, nice uh, side mirrors as well, sturdy. They're in this sort of silver color, which, which stands out from the deep black of the rest of the car. Oh, they've done a fantastic job designing this car. There's, it's, I think it's just because it's such a simple design, yet so beautiful and iconic. My favorite part of the car when it comes to the exterior design is the rear of the car. Two big, juicy uh, twin exhausts here at the back, which just defines uh, hot hatch when you think of the term hot hatch. Um, again, we've got the Golf R logo there. I'll get a bit closer to show you. Um, the iconic Volkswagen logo, which recently got a, a redesign and you can flip this, uh, it sort of slips in like I think on the previous Golfs and the boot will open up. And also a really sexy uh, spoiler there at the top. Um, design of the lights, slick, they're slim, they're practical um, and, and a cool diffuser feature here at the bottom. Let's step inside and show you the interior of the car. Simple design door panel there on the side, but this is where the magic is. I mean, the design of these seats is just so sporty. They're also very comfortable. Again, we've got the uh, the iconic R logo on both the passenger 
and uh, driver's seat. If we get up close, it's what uh, it's Napa leather, which you find in some of the Volkswagens as well as Audi or the whole Volkswagen group. Extremely comfortable, high quality, really high quality. Um, lots of comfort, very gripping as well. This is a sporty car, so you feel very much in place when you're sat in these seats, uh, both here and with your upper part of the body. Controlled electrically here. Um, show you into the back as well. You've got enough, you've got plenty of space in the back. You can very comfortably fit four people or five if you've got a smaller person sitting here in the middle. You've got this centerpiece that comes down here with your cup holders, which fits in place there. Leather seats, yeah, Nappa leather. Um, let's just get up close and behind the wheel. Ah, oh, just a beautiful, I mean, just look at that. It's so, it's so beautiful. Steering wheel. The steering wheel feels solid and it feels sporty. It feels perfectly in place. God, even with everything switched off, it just looks so, so neat. Um, you get up close, you've got this perforated feature here. It, it just it just feels right. You know when you get behind a wheel and it just feels perfect, it doesn't feel too light or too, uh, you know, like a, a poor quality material. It feels premium. This uh, blue feature that we saw at the front of the car, this sort of Golf R blue that runs around here, which is a nice, cool feature. Um, the R logo, again, you're seeing this a lot around the car, and I really like it. You've got a big display screen here. They've gone for this, um, what I call the shaver stick um, gear shifter, which it's starting to grow on me. I first saw it when I drove the 911 uh, in Germany in 2019, but... It's uh, it's starting to grow on me. It look it, it looks good in this car because everything here is quite minimalist. Um, you've got all sorts of random little compartments. I've got a comb there, but here I don't really know what this slot is for. Um, maybe for the key. In fact, I will just show you the key, um, which also I like. Again, you've got the R logo, very slick, nice key. So maybe that slots in there. So. You got because it's the eye. You got the bigger paddle shifters here on the side, um, which are quite fun if you slip it into the the, the sport or certainly the race mode. Um, nice, nice uh, features here. It feels a little bit plasticky. Um, I don't think that is carbon fiber, but it does look like carbon fiber, so it looks good. Um, everything's pretty solid. Um, there's a bit of plastic here and there, but nice parts of leather. Um, yeah, also, as I said, the seats are incredibly comfortable. So let's get this car started. All right, we've got the car started. Um, there is one thing I do want to mention and highlight that I personally don't like. Um, it's There's a lot of good things about this car and uh, all in all, I think it's a fantastic car. But something I would like to mention, they've gone very, uh, hard, very heavy into the sort of touch buttons. Now, I have a funny relationship with touch buttons. I think when you have when you have it for some of the buttons in some of the places, it works. But when everything is touch, I don't know, I still like the buttons. I mean, the, the start stop button is, 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 is still a button and the parking brake, and of course, obviously, uh, sorry, putting it in park and obviously the, the hand brake as well. But other than that, everything is touch screen and I don't quite like how they feel. Um, so that's something I'm not, maybe, if you own the car and you're driving it every day, you get used to it. But for me personally, I think this wheel would be a lot better. If, for example, everything here was actually like buttons, tangible buttons, instead of this sort of weird touch slash buttony type feature. Um, also the climate control. I don't like climate controls being totally touch. Uh, in this region, in the Middle East, we use a lot of climate con con control because it gets very hot. Um, and I always, I don't mind it being on touch, but I would prefer it also if there were some tangible touching buttons where you can change it also. Engine is switched on, just looks so sexy. All uh, digital display. We have a, a digital speedometer display here, as well as the infotainment system here, which is pretty easy to navigate and work your way around. It's, it's pretty simple and straightforward. It's not like something you'd see in a BMW or a Mercedes or an Audi, but it does the job. Um, uh, and very easy to hook up your phone and get everything going with Apple CarPlay as well. Other thing I would like to point out as well, they have gone for type C charging points, not USB. So very much in the future, because most of us today, all of our 
cables and wires for all of our digital devices, now predominantly our Type C. Behind the wheel and moving, this is a very comfortable car to drive. The handling is excellent. You can play around with the driving modes, which uh, really changes the tuning of the car and the performance and the acceleration and, and how it sounds as well. It does have a bit of a roar. Um, you have, again, the iconic blue R here, where you can quite easily just slip it into race. You have the different driving modes here, comfort, sport and race and drift. And you can personalize it with individual as well. So we're currently in race. So you can hear it has a bit of a roar. Um, she kicks out 320 horsepower, bearing in mind the size and the weight of this car. That's quite a bit of power. So my comments on the driving experience, it is just so agile. You know, it's a little car. It's uh, It's got heaps of power and it is fun. It is a really fun car to drive. Uh, driving on smaller windy roads you can get around the corners very easily the steering now is somewhat stiffer because uh, I've put it into the race mode you can hear the uh, sound of the engine there it is uh, it does sound good it does sound good she's small but she's feisty so my overall synopsis of this car um, I've always loved the Golf um, GTI R. I remember even when I was a kid and I used to see the R32s on the road, uh, I would always dream of one day driving one of those. This actually is the first time I've ever driven a Golf R. I've driven many Golfs and GTIs before, so thoroughly impressed. I mean, Golfs, I've always been a huge lover of the Golf. I just think they're so fun yet so practical. Whether you wanna have some fun, take it on a track go shopping or cart around the family it's, it sort of does everything um it's stylish it looks great it impresses people um behind the wheel very comfortable um you have incredible visibility as well all over the car this has got the um sunroof which another thing almost all cars today have the electric but i quite like this because this is sort of old school and you can just open it uh, manually which I quite like and of course it does open with this sort of sliding touch feature again everything is almost touching this car you just slide your finger and it will and it will open so uh, Mabruk Volkswagen uh, truly incredible car and thank you Volkswagen Bahrain Bebahani for, for giving me this car for, for a weekend I always enjoy having a car for a few days as opposed to one day because you can really integrate it into your life but uh, yeah love this car Always been a lover of uh, the Volkswagen Golfs and uh, I look forward to the next one.